is where we keep Lenya, because this is the side that's sheltered from the north wind. The north wind is a big problem here, um, and the rain, and it all usually comes from that direction. So this is the sheltered side of the cabana, and by the winter, this entire wall needs to be covered with firewood. So these are the new solar panels. These are extremely powerful, and the battery com combined, they're extremely powerful. Before, when I arrived, there were just two solar panels above the pizza oven section and batteries that didn't work. So the first winter, I didn't have lights. Um, <laughs> I had to choose between having lights in the evening and charging my phone. Um, and it wasn't great. And I couldn't use the fridge during the winter at all. Um, so this was a priority. I had, I had to get this, the new, the new solar panels. And that's what's made the water system. They're the ones that have made it maybe have a useful water system. This is a fig tree. I have a lemon tree and a fig tree. How cool is that? This is the chicken coop. Very happy with the chicken coop. This was the first change that I made to the cabana. Hello chickens. <laughs> so these, this field is also mine um, and those water tanks are mine and they weren't here when I arrived, so we've inst installed these as well. And there's a really powerful pump, and that pumps the water up to those tanks. And this is fed by the spring, which is over there. So it's gravity fed by the spring. So should we walk to the spring? So this is the spring that supplies the house. Um, that's the dirty one. That's the less dirty one. And if you want to get nice clean water that's fresh to drink, you need to put your cup all the way in here. So. <clears throat> when I first arrived, we had lots of problems with the water because it was the old system and I had to connect a generator and pump it directly from here every time I needed new, a water refill. And that took hours and it was quite difficult work and it had to be done every two weeks or so, um, depending on water usage. So the new system is amazing. It's, it means that that doesn't have to ever happen again. It was actually motivated by Brexit because I realised that there would be a, a, a deadline after which I wouldn't be able to live in Spain any longer very easily. And I've lived in Spain a few times before because I'm a professional translator. So I lived in Barcelona and I lived in Madrid, uh, but always in the city. And um, so the idea of moving to Spain came about because of Brexit. But the idea of coming to the countryside in the north came because I uh, was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2016. Um, and that changed my life completely. And it meant that I really felt like unable to live in the city anymore because it's a very press pressured and toxic environment. So it was the combination of Brexit and my multiple sclerosis that happened in like weird, magical, serendipitous timing. And um, so I went out to visit Asturias because I realized that the south of Spain um, would be too hot. It's very hot in the south of Spain. And when you have MS, extreme heat makes your symptoms worse. So I realized that most of Spain wouldn't be appropriate for me. And so I came on holiday here I think it was the end of 2018 just to see what I thought of the place my final journey back from England was in March or the end of February the beginning of March 2020 so obviously it's been a quite strange first year because I got here and then every, everything shut down um, and it was hard to make friends and it was hard to get things off the ground like the garden but of course you know it's all good when you're living somewhere like this and now things are, I've got, and now I've got lots of friends and Elena's come to live and poco a poco, bit by bit. You don't move somewhere like this and immediately fixes all your life's problems. It's gradual, it takes time as you get your rhythm and you get to know the people here, the, the, the lifestyle here. Um, but as that happens, I feel like on every level, spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional. Uh, it's going up. Have you met any aliens around here? Oh, there's aliens landing all the time. I come out and I watch them. They go overhead. I watch 
seven go overhead one night, I, t I kid you not. And yeah, they often land. I've gone off to Mars a couple of times, came back and it was only two minutes later on the clock. 